Hello friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to 3 before going ahead with Part 4. Certain other things which we will talk about before we start discussing about behavior of gases. When, when we talk about molecular structure, it becomes very important to talk about the comparison between the structure of a solid, a liquid and a gas. So let us first talk about interatomic distance. As I told you, since our childhood we have been studying that in a solid, the atoms are very closely spaced to each other. Something like this, as you can see. Whereas in case of liquid, they are a bit far apart, that is the interatomic distance or the distance between the atoms increases. So the interatomic distance is more. Whereas in case of gas, they are even more widely distributed. That is the interatomic distance is maximum in case of a gas and minimum in case of a solid. The next property which we will discuss while comparing them is the mean free path. What is mean free path? It is the average distance a molecule travel without colliding. Now, from where do, did this come term colliding? As I told you, in case of a gas, the molecules, since they are quite away from each other, so they are free to move about. So what happens is, the molecules randomly keeps moving here and there. Now, when so many molecules move about here and there, collision takes place, right? Now, what happens, this collision takes place between any two molecules. Now, consider any one molecule. So, suppose it had a collision with a molecule 1. Again, after some time, it had a collision with molecule 2. So, the average distance that a molecule travels without colliding. That means the distance which it travels between the two collisions is known as the mean free path. Right? The name itself says that its name itself defines it. Mean that is the average. Free means the path which it covers freely without collision. Path that is the distance. That means the average distance traveled freely. That is without colliding. So very easy to remember, mean is average, path is distance. So average distance traveled freely, that is without colliding. Now when I talk of mean free path, what do you think? In case of solid or liquid or gas, in which of these cases or in which of these states, the mean free path would be maximum. Quite obvious. In case of gas, this mean free path will actually come into play because the molecules will be able to move in case of gases. Whereas in case of solids, the molecules are almost fixed in their positions. They are not even free to move about. So there is no question of having a mean free path. Right? So the mean free path would not come that much into play in case of a solid, but it would play a very important role in case of gases. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.